What's up, A family? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. And right now, first I want to address somebody in the comments when I made the connection between the price of Bed Bath & Beyond was 16 and they woke up and it was starting at 25 and ran all the way up to like 20, uh, 38 or something. We'll look at it in just a second. But if they didn't get what I was trying to say. And that's okay. Watch the video again. Maybe you'll pick it up. But I'm back again to show you the Bed Bath & Beyond chart because there's something you need to see if you're an AMC shareholder. Let me share my screen and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, here we are. Bed Bath & Beyond on the 10-minute uh, time frame here. It was here around the 16s. It was consolidating there for a long time and then all of a sudden boom they wake up it's at 27 all right i want you to imagine if that was amc if you wake up in the morning and amc is at 27 dollars from where it's at 16 up 11 bucks way up here then it pulls back a little bit and it runs it continues to run up oh my god oh my god this is amc Think if this is AMC. And then you get all the way up to here to $34 hitting 35. And it hit 35. It hit 35 and fell back down. All right. Then it starts doing this. Now, think about it as if it's AMC, people. Think about it how you're going to feel. Let me see if I can do this right real quick if you wake up are you starting here we're going to start following it here watch this this is the price action in movement Try it again. Go right here to the back. Go here. And we're ready to go. Now watch as the price action moves. Here it is. I think of this as AMC. All right. Moving along. 16, 16, 20. Boom. All of a sudden, it's 27, 25. That is from where we're at right now, about an 80% move up overnight. Boom, overnight. Then you wake up, you see that you're all excited. You go, yes, this is it. And then we start the timer again. And it has a little pullback and it continues to go up. Remember, I want you to think of this as AMC as we watch this price action. And then it tops 31, 29, 34.80. What in the world? Uh-oh, wait a minute, time out. Time the fuck out. I thought this was a squeeze. I thought when it moved up from here and jumped up to there, an 80% move, and then it does this, but then for the rest of the day, we see this price action. Think about this as AMC. If you wake up right now in the morning and you're here and we do this in the pre-market, all right, then we have this pullback. How are you going to feel right here? You just had $35 a share. When it falls down to $23.70, and then keep watching. 22.45. 22.50. Should I take my profits? No, it's going to fall further. Now it's at 20, 23. Oh, shit. Back up. And now it's petering out. So, if this was AMC, what would you have been thinking if this started to happen? 
if it fell below where it gapped up right here, what would you have done? Would you have gotten nervous? I hope not, because you're going to have to learn. These run-ups, gap-ups, and run-ups are to be expected, and these pullbacks are to be expected, too. That's the connection. That's a good lesson that you can learn from the Bed Bath & Beyond chart today is when this thing spikes and then pulls back, how are you gonna react if that's AMC doing that? Will you sell out or are you gonna hold? We got places to go, people. Well, I love y'all, be blessed. And that is what you can learn from the Bed Bath & Beyond chart today is get ready for the emotional roller coaster. Love y'all and be blessed.